हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर चिन्मय कुंभार कन्सल्टंट न्युरोलॉजिस्ट ॲट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल बाणेर टुडे आय बी स्पीकिंग ऑन स्ट्रोक वॉट इज स्ट्रोक स्ट्रोक इज अ न्युरोलॉजिकल कंडिशन विच हॅपन्स ड्यू टू इनसफिशियन्सी ऑफ ब्लड सप्लाय टू द ब्रेन ॲज वी ऑल नो ब्रेन कंट्रोल्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द बॉडी फंक्शन्स अँड हॅन्स द सिम्टम्स ऑफ स्ट्रोक कॅन डिपेंड अपॉन द एरिया ऑफ द ब्रेन विच इज अफेक्टेड इट कॅन रेंज फ्रॉम व्हेरी माइल्ड सिम्टम्स लाईक डिसार्थ्रिया टू व्हेरी डिसेबलिंग सिम्टम्स लाईक कम्प्लीट पॅरालिसिस ऑफ वन साईड ऑफ द बॉडी इनएबिलिटी टू मेंटेन बॅलन्स इनएबिलिटी टू स्पीक अनेबल टू अंडरस्टँड वॉट अदर्स आर स्पीकिंग इनएबिलिटी टू सी इनएबिलिटी टू हिअर ऑर फेशियल डिविएशन ऑल दीज सिम्टम्स कॅन व्हेरी डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द पेशंट and here we come to the concept of golden hour so what is golden hour we might have heard that the golden period of stroke is 4 and a half hours so what is this exactly any patient with suspected stroke should be brought to the hospital immediately or within 4 and a half hours of the onset of symptoms why is this important because if the patient is brought within 4 and a half hours the doctors can evaluate the patient and if the patient is eligible we can treat the patient with an injection what is this injection it is called medical thrombolysis and this medical thrombolysis is the best and the only available treatment for stroke globally the next question is what if the stroke happens during sleep there are patients who come to us who have developed paralysis just after getting up from sleep in such patients we have newer imaging techniques to see if the patient is eligible for this injection as we all know prevention is better than cure medical thrombolysis or oral medications can help to prevent the future strokes but what about the damage that has already been done that will take a very long time to recover and hence prevention is the only key how to prevent stroke patients having diabetes or blood pressure or both of them are at 10 times higher risk than normal population for developing stroke and hence a good control of diabetes and blood pressure can help prevent strokes the next is maintaining a healthy lifestyle maintaining a balanced diet with good balance of carbohydrates proteins essential amino acids essential fatty acids with a low fat and less oily diet is advisable the next thing is exercise american heart association recommends 150 minutes of exercise per week that amount of exercise is sufficient to maintain a healthy lifestyle moderation of the intake of caffeine alcohol and stopping smoking is another way to maintain a healthy lifestyle in patients who have already suffered stroke it is very important to prevent further episodes of stroke how can we do this it is very important to continue the antiplatelet medications advised by your neurologist to prevent further episodes of stroke thank you